Good morning, everyone. Eric Rogers here with Merchant Careers. We made it to Friday. Uh, now we're on that second half of September. Today's the 16th, so we want to make sure that you are uh, getting your business pushed in the right direction. It is September, so you know what happens behind that. Now we've got Halloween, then we've got Thanksgiving, and then we know what happens in December. So you want to have the merchants on your book of business and you want to do it now. A little urgency, okay? You do not have quotas, which is a good and a bad thing, right? You're not getting pushed necessarily, but uh, guys, I think if you take a step back and you look at the big picture and go, how big are my commission checks going to be? This is a good time to have businesses on board, okay? Common sense is a flower that doesn't grow in everyone's garden. We understand that. So that's why we're here every morning to kind of help you guys get motivated. You can see this is a real nice a Rolls Royce. I probably would never, even if I had the money, wouldn't buy one, but this I thought was uh, pretty appropriate. You know, if, if success doesn't happen right away, okay, just remember, this is residual income. This is the Rolls Royce of income. You are paid every month for all the businesses that you've got on your book of business every month regardless of your monthly production but you got to build the business you got it. it's not going to come to your front door you're not going to email spam a bunch of people and think that's email marketing and that's going to work it's not going to work okay you need to develop a relationship you need to develop trust trust is a very big thing let me go ahead and try this as well uh, here we go use the tools that the webinar gives you guys so here you go trust is a big deal you gain trust with these merchants, these warm leads, these business owners that you know or have a nice in. Somebody can refer you into a business. It happens all the time. And, uh, you know, Webster Dictionary defines trust as a belief that someone or something is reliable, good, honest, and effective. And guess what? It's not based on facts. It's something that you just kind of know, okay, And uh, as opposed to spreadsheets. So... Trust is emotionally driven. When you get a proposal and you're saving them double digits and you've got a solution for them on the other end, get it done now. Contact your national sales director and we'll help get that done. Do not feel like, okay, let's let the merchant come to me. Uh, they're busy. And next Tuesday, we do have a presentation that I want to make sure everybody is lined up for. And... Uh, Yep, Aaron, thank you so much. We're going to get you on here in just a moment because uh, it actually works out perfectly that uh, we had somebody, Aaron Marmol, a regional account manager just like you guys, had implemented a, a change. He never changed his goals, but he changed the process or his approach. And guys, he put it into effect, and we saw it within one week. What he has changed, work. Okay, I personally have seen it because I'm working with him uh, as his NSD. So, uh, guys, let me pull this over right now. And what we want to do, let me erase just a couple things here. So, on your live training, I want to push this because these are real effective Monday through Thursday. We've got different subjects that we cover uh, and we try to stick around those subjects Monday through Friday. Now, we've got some special event training. This is for our sales associates and regional account managers in Street Smart. Guys, make sure you are attending this. It's this coming Tuesday. So you've got your weekend. Keep your head on a swivel. we got football going on. But guys, if you're out at a restaurant, if you're out uh, at a business or, you know, wherever you're, whatever you do on the weekends, uh, if that business accepts Visa, MasterCard, and Discover, you know, who do I talk to about your merchant processing? You know, you get a lot of business on the weekends. That's when you kind of... Kind of, you're, you're in a good mood too. So uh, go ahead and just keep your eyes out for that. Now, Street Smart Q and A. We're going to open this thing up to a ton of. If you have questions, this is where we're going to get to them. And uh, Matt Nichols, our uh, sales manager here, guys, he owned a restaurant for 10 years. This guy is going to give you a different perspective. So, in other words, what's going to happen is you're going to hear it from what the merchant looks at. And no one is busier than the restaurant guys, right? Those guys are just jammed. 
So what we're going to do is it's going to be very relaxed. It's going to be uh, a situation where gra he likes grassroots, town hall type format, and this is going to be really beneficial for all of you. You're going to get tips. You're going to hear questions from other uh, regional account managers. This is what's happening here in my area. This is what I'm running into. This is what's working. So uh, we've got Scott coming in here. I'm going to move over just a little bit. And then uh, we do have uh, Aaron. We had Greg Rios lined up. And his, uh, as I mentioned, he kind of got a little busy on us. But guys, but let me let me finish this up. I almost forgot. Oh, sorry. You in there now? There you go. He's, he's moved. Yeah. Guys, if you do not uh, register, you're not going to be able to get in on this thing. It's at 7 o'clock Eastern time, 4 o'clock uh, West Coast time. But you need to register for this. So if you attended the last one that we had last month, um, third Tuesdays, you're not going to get the reminder email. So please go in, register for this, and uh, that was the plug for Tuesday. We've we've covered that. So now what Shameless, I want to do? Shameless plug. Yeah. So Aaron, I'm going to unmute you, my man. And uh, what I want to do, guys, this is a regional account manager. And he's been uh, plugging along for a while, and he's going to tell you his story. And the nice thing is, this is like part two. Part do, D E U X. Is that how you see? That's about the as far as I go with my French. But uh, guys, uh, listen to Aaron. He has uh, again changed the approach, never changed the goal, and had a, and I've seen it uh, a lot of success this past week. All right, Aaron, you should uh, be able to unmute yourself. Let me hear you. Are you there? Yep, I hear you perfectly. Go ahead and uh, tell us tell us how your changes went. Well, that sounds great. All right, guys. So this is Aaron Marmol. I'm in Utah County, and I've been a Ram since November, since I think the start of it. And in the beginning, I would go out. I would just hammer it, hammer it, hammer it. Just go and see anybody I possibly could. And I really was meeting a lot of people. Was I wasn't getting the results I wanted, and so I had to come up with something. When I found, man, this just isn't working. I can't go in there and just tell them, hey, I'm here for a compliance. You got to form a relationship with them first. Is really what I'm finding. And lately, one thing I changed is that I would go in. I'd go in before I'm ready to go in, and I'd stop and I'd look around the store and talk to the guy, whoever was there. Find out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Go back next day. Hey, yeah, I saw you yesterday. Introduce him to myself. I lived here for a long time. I probably come to this store several times. I just wonder, are you the owner around? And so then they know that I'm there. I come in. I buy things at their store. Good point to start. Mm -hmm. One example went to this guy, Alan Marks, over here. Small engine repair. Wanted to sharpen my lawnmower blade. Went in two days before. Hey, I'm here. I got to sharpen this blade, man. Talked to him about the blade. I don't even know if he could sharpen it. It's pretty beat up. And he took a look at the blade. He's like, no, I can sharpen it. It's not bent. So me and this guy, we now have something in common. I told him, oh, I've lived here for a long time, but I've never been in. I never had my own lawnmower. He said, oh, cool, man. I said, well, hey, I'm going to bring that back when I'm ready. I looked at his machine. I know what he has now. I can investigate what's going on with his company. I come back a third time. Hey, I brought that blade back. Oh, cool, awesome. Get the work done. Haven't mentioned anything about what I'm doing yet. I go in there the fourth time. I pay for my item. Is there anything else I could do for you? You bet. Hey, I just wondered real quick, who's doing your credit card processing? Oh, well, you know, I don't really like to talk about that. I said, yeah, I, you know, I just wondered because I do it myself, and I'd like to put in a bit on some work for you. And plus, you know, I live street. Oh, yeah, okay, well, I normally don't talk to credit card guys. Well, Mark, you know, I'm, I'm not here to hurt you. I just wanted to see if I could help you out with something because you helped me with my blade. But if you don't want to talk about it, it's fine. He says, what company yeah. are you with? I put my card on the table. He investigates me right there on his computer. Card Connect duh, 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 tells me a bunch of things. Used to be known as telling me all about 
what we're offering right there to my face. I'm just waiting for him. He's just talking. I haven't really given him much. And he's telling me all about it. Simple questions. Yeah. Hey, I don't yeah, do a lot of business in the fall. Come back in two weeks. I'll talk to you. Yeah. I'm ready to go that back to talk to him. So he gave you the, the brush off, kind of like these cavemen. That uh, definitely uh, looks like Scott Tash before he showers and everything in the morning right here. But uh, Aaron, yep. yeah, yeah, and then 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 right here is Aaron Marmol. There you go. See, he's got Card Connect right there. That's the wheel. We've got solutions above and beyond added benefit than price. You know, General Electric went with Card Connect not because of pricing, but because of service. So you know, you're going to get guys that are busy. Turn, literally physically will turn their back on you. I've, noticed, I've, I've had that happen before. And, uh, and nah, I'm, you know, no thanks, we're too busy. How do you get around that? Well, it may take you a few times for them to get comfortable with you, etc. It may take you just meeting these folks at a chamber of commerce when they're not busy. You know, a picture speaks a thousand words, guys. This thing is beautiful uh, as far as as an example of what you're going to run into because you know down here and you know that if you gain the trust of these guys that they're going to run with you they're going to go with you you know and again you're not selling them anything they're not already using they're already using a square wheel where if you love that square wheel when you've actually got the one that's rounded so that's going to be the difference where the business can really take off you can increase their business as well and uh, Aaron, I love it. And again, guys, he changed his entire approach, how he was doing business. And all of you, this is a biz op. You can go out there and get started the way you want. Okay, we push you in a certain direction with our training. And this is something that, uh, let me get pulled up here, guys, because what you can do is we give you ideas how to get started. We even have the days lined out day by day by day so we give you this now some people say I you know I've got my own routine this is what I like to do but you'll notice here here's day one through three right with Scott Tash and Scott go ahead and, yeah tell you, tell you what I've had uh, five new Rams this week mm -hmm. who have gone through this before they, they just signed up they went through this I've had three of them have their first merchant statement in before our very first call together. Yep. It is, oh, by the way, I've got my merchant statement here, and welcome to the family. They went mm. through the training before we even had an opportunity. They had their first merchant statement within 24 hours of watching the video mm -hmm. from the people that they knew. This is set up so that people can have a little action before they start. It's earn while you learn. Mm -hmm. And so, but we can all earn while we learn because we're continually learning. Mm -hmm. And so no matter where you're at in the process, you can go back and go through uh, two different types of training. You know, if, if you've hit that stuck point and, and yeah. you go, I just, I, you know, I, gee, you know, what am I doing? Okay, your approach will change. Go visit different types of business than you normally have. Mm -hmm. uh, and go to that thousand contact sheet. Go through that first training that we talked to about. Yeah. And go through the archive training on the... Uh, that's down under the advanced sales training and get fresh ideas in your head mm -hmm. of where to go and you know it's it's a wonder it's I'm surprised at the number of different types of businesses that are out there and every time I think you know God, I've been around this earth for 63 years I've seen it all yeah, yeah. there's a new one that pops up and it's like oh really and they do that much processing wow what a business yeah Whoops, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> What's the... Oh, this is... Yeah. Uh-oh. It's, 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 a, it's a bad cookie. Yeah. No, that's incredible. Can you guys still hear us, actually? I just want to make sure everybody's on there. So... Yeah, hopefully our computer doesn't get uh, get wiped out here. Garbage. This is, this is. Yeah, that is hilarious. So, but Aaron, so what you've done is you you've gone out there and you've changed 
your approach as far as what you're what you're doing and let me do this I'm gonna go ahead and pull this over yeah actually I think they've got my screen over here there we go yeah it's gonna give me a little the whole thing yeah I tried see that well here let's do this there we go. So now you guys are back on the other screen. Should be good. Are they on this screen? Yep, they should be because I wanted to do the live training down here. So make sure that you guys are checking this out. And then uh, let me see, we'll move that over here so you guys can see us over here. Now make sure that you're, there we go. So make sure that you're uh, checking this out too. That's what uh, was one of the things that they were looking at. That was incredible. Yeah, I was trying to get to Manta, guys, and uh, this is another website, but we'll pull that up later as well. That was interesting. So live training, make sure you're there, and then I want to make sure you guys can still see and hear us. See, this is as big. It's all good. Lisa, you've got us. All right, FDF screen, perfect. So what we want you to do is come over. You've got your dashboard. Module 1, that's where, uh, and what we were referring to there before I tried to pull up a website, uh, manta.com is actually a good one for uh, businesses that size. But here's your 1,000 contacts. And uh, every one of my RAMs that have, have gotten through uh, their first week, we'll put it that way, the ones who have gone through this have produced statements. And they're, they're in underwriting, and they're making money. And that's the, the key here that we want everybody uh, to do. Now, do we do Diners Club? I think uh, Sharon's mentioning that. That was a question that we just got. And uh, no, you know, it's Visa, MasterCard, Discover. We can save them money on their American Express statements as well. So uh, those are the ones you want to want to contact first. And if they're taking Diners, they're taking Visa, MasterCard too. So that's still a prospect, Sharon. Make sure you, you uh, approach that business. And then, uh, uh, again, I've got three or four that are working through these lodge, you know, the uh, veterans. There's a, a VFW, alumni, boosters, elks, that type of thing. Guys, great referral. Great referral source right there in your local area, in your town. If you're a part of that, make sure that you're hitting them up as well. Um, regarding their business or they may not see that's the thing they may not they may be cash only because they think it's too expensive so this is something that you can swap out as well so uh, yeah I just want uh, and it looks like uh, let me see Darian Baker good to see you here Greg Oakley Joe Rivard good to see you now where is uh, David Bolton I'd love to get him on here too because this guy where are you at David I'm looking for a uh, an attendee, so don't go hide. We're, we'll we'll pull you up here. There's David. So uh, uh, David, it looks like you're muted on your side. Do you want to unmute yourself, David, and just kind of share how your business is going there in your area? So David Bolton, and again, he didn't know this was coming today either. So David, it looks like your computer or uh, microphone is muted on your end. Do you want to go ahead and unmute yourself, David? I'm going to check him out. Uh, I guess he's busy too. Let me go ahead and mute him again. And uh, let me get back to Aaron here as well. So, Aaron, one more thing. Do you want to tell them what you changed on your approach from A to B? I know we took you over to the thousand contact list. Did this new video help out that you were seeing? The thousand contact video? Yeah. Did you utilize this? Because I know you made your change about the same time that uh, we came in here and switched this up where we added the thousand contact list and Scott Tash did his video. Well, I changed up what I was doing. I just felt like I wanted to see better results. I have checked out the thousand contacts and all the modules. Um, I think they all have a lot of great information on them, and just go through them. I mean, you 
you can't do it all at once because there's a lot of information there, but you can break down a little bit at a time and go through it. And I have seen them all, and I like them all. Uh, my uh, What I'm doing with leads is I got some notebooks, and I just made a map of the community where I wanted to go, and so I could just spiral out. I just wanted to kind of talk to everything that was around me, so I got on Manta and printed out like you had. You sent me like what 5,000 contacts or something like that. So I just kind of made like a little map of where I was going to go, and write down a few each day, and then go out and do those ones. Yeah, but no, yeah, I changed. Change I guess. Talk to me. Waiting for the merchant to talk to me a little bit. If I'm buying something, wait till after I paid for it, and then ask him. That's outstanding. Outstanding. That's how I got the restaurant down there. I didn't say anything to him about it. I went up. I said, hey, you know, I, I've been coming here for years. I noticed you guys might need a new machine. you have time to talk about that another day? And the lady says, no, I'll go get the guy right now. So she went nice. and got the guy, and then I got the statement. Perfect. You never know when you're going to run into somebody. Mm -hmm. We've got one company that one of my Rams uh, put into and it just so happens that there, it's a, it's a restaurant also. It's in it's in Texas, and their five machines are their computers are outdated. And they need to upgrade, and so the processor said they would upgrade their Windows uh, XP to Windows Seven for a thousand extra dollars. Well. Windows 7 is not going to be supported pretty quick. Yeah. And I said, well, gee, you know, there's a temporary fix that's only going to last for a few months. Maybe we should, you know, look at the whole the whole system and see if we can't get you an economical way to upgrade the computers to the right things and then start taking your your yeah. cards through a different different person and save you money in both areas. And so they're very open to it. All all of the that was that was one of my RAM's first statements that came over before he ever had his first conversation with me. Yeah. And so yeah. again, he watched the video, looked at it and said, wow, I, I've got people, my own personal company might be able to do this. And off we went. Mm -hmm. So you never know where the leads are going to come from or, or what condition they're in. We look at a business and uh, this is a, a big Japanese steakhouse that does quite a bit of volume. Yeah. And we think that they've got all the modern technology and everything in the world. They're probably up to date on everything. And that is not true. These businesses are out there are just like you and me. Some things are in good shape and up to date. Yeah. Some things are hanging by. Yeah. Uh, you know, and so uh, it's, uh, I think Aaron will attest to this. You don't know what you're talking to until you go in and actually talk to them. Yeah. And, you know, you can have, Big businesses that are outdated help that think they have the best in the world. You have small businesses that got the best pricing in the world, and we're we're not going to be able to help them as much. But we won't know that until you go call on. You cannot look at the outside and judge what's on the inside. Can't do that with businesses. You certainly can't do that with people. Yeah, absolutely. Dan Stinson also on here. He submitted two statements yesterday, and uh, his approach is. Um, you can go to, and let me move this up just a hair so I can read it from the beginning. If you go to uh, REF USA through the local library and break it down by your SIC codes, and that's just your the way a, a vertical or an industry is divided. In other words, bail bonds have a certain number, restaurants have a certain number, uh, et cetera, assigned to them. And uh, you can find specialty businesses in your area with the owner's name and other little things like how much volume they generate. Uh, and that type of thing. So in his little area, he was able to pull over a hundred contact names by getting creative. So uh, is that an online something you can look up to on these REF USA? What is uh, REF USA? Yeah, go ahead and send the uh, hyperlink, Dan, uh, if you can. And he submitted to over there. And then uh, uh, I happen to need a sick code. I was working on that before he came in. Oh, okay. Well, then yeah, you may be able to help us out. But uh, yeah, and David, not to be confused with Michael <coughs> Bolton, his uh, microphone is not working. No problem, David. Uh, we'll get you on at a later date. Like I said, we have Greg Rios uh, had a something come up at twelve ten East Coast time. Yes, I'm and uh, call it. Yep. So Scott's going to go ahead and run. We're we're busy here on a Friday, guys. And then uh, what I also want to do though is Aaron, you want to finish up with that uh, merchant who's been in business 40 years, large ticket item. Let me go ahead and unmute you again. 
There you go, Aaron. You should be good. All right. Sounds good, guys. My dad has this friend that does body shop. I've known him since I was five years old. I went over to his shop, and I just wanted to talk with him about some body work that I want to do. And so I was over there, and I said, hey, you know, Raul, I started this new job, and I wanted to talk to you about it. And he said, oh, what kind of job is that? I says, well, yeah. I'm doing credit card processing. Do you guys even take cards here? He said, you know what? Here's a spill. I tell him, if you don't got cash, I can't do work for you. It's 2000 bucks. Come back. He's going to undercut anybody else's business that's doing a bid. He does quality work. And he told me he's just accepted cash 40 years. He doesn't really want to do it any other way. And I says, well, that's fine. I says, do you know anybody that has a square reader or a mobile reader? He says, you know, I have been considering one of those because uh, sometimes I need a card. I says, well, you just told me you never needed a card. He goes, yeah, sometimes I do. But I don't want to have, like, a big yeah. contract expensive. I said, yeah, I know. I don't blame you. I said, yeah. get a mobile swiper, 50 bucks. And then you got the yeah. service. You pay a small monthly fee. You're ready to go. You can sell your $2,000 paint job anytime you want. Well, maybe. I said, uh, well, think about this. I'm here to help you. You've known me for 30 years. Give me a chance to show you I'm, I'm for real. He says, all right, I'll give you a chance. You go talk to this lady over here. She's cheap, man. She's cheap. Go talk to her. If you get her, I'll sign up too, and I'll refer you five more. I said, okay, wow. I'm going to go talk to her. She's got a coffee shop. down. Uh, it's probably like three or four towns away from me, but that's where he lives. He goes there every morning. He sees her. She says, she's got a square. If, if it's better than square, go talk to her. If it's not better than square, don't. I said, it's better than square, and I'm going to show you it's better than square. Yeah. No, there that's outstanding. Did you guys see that? You know, he, he got a business guy where he didn't get the business directly from him, but uh, Aaron, you know, had the awareness to go ahead and, and ask for other business because the dialogue was there, because he was a customer, because, uh, you know, at that point it was right and comfortable, right place, right time. That goes back to the trust that we were talking about earlier and uh, you guys can make this happen. Now uh, to expand on uh, Dan Stinson, what he's referring to is uh, go to the local library website and then go to the databases. Uh, then go alphabetical or uh, reference USA and then you will be asked to put in your library card number. Okay, so he's using uh, a library card and uh, you can go or go directly to reference.com and uh, you'll not have to pay for it. So guys, you know, Google online uh, is, is a beautiful thing. So we want to make sure that uh, you are doing uh, some searching in your area because visually you may only see certain businesses uh, or certain parts of town. But uh, again, this is a fresh new way to look at your own area. And we want you to own your backyard. So uh, we definitely want that to happen for you. So. Register for Tuesday, all right, Street Smart Tuesday. That's going to be an open forum where you can ask all kinds of questions. And uh, we're going to, you're going to get a nice perspective from the merchant's point of view. And that's Tuesday evening at 7 o'clock, 4 o'clock West Coast time. And uh, it will be recorded. And uh, go out there and get them. Con use your national sales director. You know, we're, we're on the phone quite a bit, and we're there to help you. Okay, so do not feel like you're on an island by yourself and uh, you're doing your business uh, by yourself. You've got a support team there. Uh, if you've got questions, there, you know, email those. Uh, text messaging is very efficient uh, for us over here because if we have a 20-minute uh, time locked out on our calendar, we're not able to do or get to you uh, until we're finished with the other uh, regional account manager we're working with. So. We're here to help you out. Bottom line, we are tied directly to your success. Directly. If you're not making residual money, uh, we're not either. We're not successful. So we're in the same boat, all of us. And guys, you can make this thing happy. You're going to get folks that look like this all day long. I mentioned it at the beginning of the show. You know, merchants are overwhelmed. We know we've got the product. We understand that. We know that we're going to help them. We know that we're not selling them anything new. 
or an added on. What we're selling them is something that's going to help their business. Okay, it's not additional. Okay, it is new, but it's not a, an additional item. So it's not an extra. So we're doing this, and you're doing this in your area, and you're getting us in places that uh, you know the professional reps or guys who have been in the business for an awfully long time. They kind of talk themselves out of businesses, like Scott had mentioned. You never know until you get in there and have a conversation. They could could be a privately owned franchise, and it happens all the time, where you can get all the business, you know. And we're going to help you uh, work your way up there. So. Yeah, and uh, Dan, thank you for sharing. Aaron Marmol, thank you again. It actually, that worked out good. I kind of liked how that worked out today, where we had someone who said they were going to do something last Friday, and I saw it happen in one week this Friday. Guys, that's it, it works. It works. You, The more people you talk to, the more statements you get, the more money you will make on a residual basis. As long as that business is with Card Connect, you will get a check every month, regardless of your monthly production. That's why you're all here. All right, guys, thank you very much. Eric Rogers here. Scott Tash was here earlier. Uh, finish out your week, though, okay? Let's go get some business. Uh, if you need to get uh, stipulations or something that's in underwriting, make sure we're following up with those today, too. Thank you very much.